How are we all doing? I hope you're keeping well out there. Long time no see, as they say here. Just being up to my eyes with stuff. I haven't really been had a chance to make videos. I've been doing a few farty things in the shed here and there when I get a few minutes, but I just to get into a video and whatnot, I just didn't really have the time. However, I'm back tonight with a video and um, tell you about a few things I've done. First off, I fixed a radio for John last week and it was a Philips uh, BX460 and I had a the sound output transformer was gone and I had about uh, well I had a humbuckle of mine and then there was four taps on the on the secondary side for the speaker for the tone control and you know all that crap that some of them Philips radios have but um, the primary was open circuit of course but uh, I managed to put a just a normal a single ender transformer in between so I did to keep the two transformers sort of interesting but it worked out well um, the radio wasn't wor really worth getting the transformer rewound so little walk arounds like that are always good um, a few other bits and pieces nothing too exciting I have here a Meguro signal generator now those of you that are with me a little bit longer might remember I did a video on one of these probably about two years ago now at this stage um, a great big uh, AM FM signal generator really lovely bit of kit with a motor driven dial and all sorts of crack well this is like its little brother this is an FM only one and again this would have been production line equipment but um, it's still set for 100 volts for Japan so we're going to open it up and put the switch to 240 um, it is working it's battered um unfortunately it got lobbed into a skip but i've managed to glue the uh, meter back together and a few bits and pieces but it is working um i don't think it was ever used actually funny enough um i'm on the smilix red aisle tonight haven't had a drink in ages so i thought I'd treat myself to a can of that gear so that's it the build quality on this thing is incredible, which I'll show you. Like I have here the advanced AM FM signal generator behind me, 63A. That's a well put together bit of stuff. Um, I've had Marconi signal generators from my hands over the years. And, you know, really well put together battleship stuff. But this thing takes it to another level. Um, so we'll have a look. We'll get into it. The ye old phone in the old phone isn't great either it's starting to act the maggot on me unfortunately so i'll probably have to get into another phone soon enough and that and i dropped it and cracked the screen but it's still working although it's doing odd body things so getting into this thing is probably easier said than done um, and the reason how i know this is because I have two of them, and I had the other one open already to do this job, so I'm basically duplicating jobs here. So, I have a little bit of an idea what I'm letting myself in for. Oh. No, that's not going to do it. Now, of course, I had them uh, dodgy Japanese squirrels. Usually the posi drive grabs them okay. Yeah, there we go. So you take this ring off first. And there's eight screws holding that on. Right. This will just give you the the, the big one is built the same as well. This gives you an, an idea of the build quality. It was a real no expense of spared effort. Um it's the kind of thing you could see Sony using on the production line in the seventies for lining up radios, you know. Um all analog which is lovely. Um you know, built to be used all day, every day. One of the things I noted on it is it's it's obviously made in Japan, 
by Meguro. But someone has stuck a Made in Ireland sticker over the Tokyo Japan on the front. And I wonder was that some sort of uh, import duty. Now, so that comes off. That little surround. And then there's larger countersunk screws all the way around. Another eight of those. That have to come out. So you know, it wasn't going to fall apart. Now this obviously probably helps with, uh, you know, RF screening. And they've really thought about RF screening in this. And it's a signal generator for the FM broadcast band only. Um, but it covers the Japanese and for want of a better expression, uh, rest of the world uh, FM bands. What I should have done is I should have charged up my little uh, battery screwdriver do for. Anyway, uh, good exercise for the hands I suppose. I hope you're all keeping well out there. It's, like, it's uh, five weeks since I put a video up. But one thing I <clears throat> you know, think you, most of you will agree with me out there is time doesn't be long passing. It seems to go quicker all the time. Now, yeah. look, she'll slide out. So she slides out like so. And I just want to show you the build quality inside this thing. Now, like it's big brother signal generator which I had open has these two chrome sliders for it to slide into the case which is quite nice still has the Japanese molded Meguro plug I love the way everything has their little uh, their little symbol on it the knobs even the molded plug no expense spared now so we'll flip her around And I noticed something different with this one than the other one already, straight off the bat. It doesn't have... Well, that's bad news for John Joe. Because the other one, when I opened it up, had a big switch here, and the mains were selectable. This one doesn't have that. There, oh there. So I must be just stuck with a hundred volt, am I? What's the transformer? Sorry, twenty-eight volt secondary. Oh, the taps are on the transformer, but they haven't put the switch on this one. So I just need to move the taps on the transformer. Hmm. It's a bit of a bugger that they didn't. Um, they didn't do that. Put, have the switch on it. I wonder why they put the switch on the other one inside and not this one. Anyway, not to worry. I just want to show you the build quality of this thing inside. And figure out the transformer later. That doesn't really matter right now. So, look at the attenuator for a start. On the front, there's our knob for the attenuator. We're upside down here. Um, and you think, oh, it's a variable resistor. It's not. It's like a, cap, a uh, variable cavity and as you move that out the attenuation goes up now just look at the workmanship that went into that alone that's a work of art you know let me flip her around let's see our variable oscillator is in this can Look at the size of the gears. And uh, the micro switches switch range. So if we look at the front, you've got your 10.7 IF frequency here, give or take. And then you wind her up, and you can hear the relay, the micro switches clicking off the can. And then you've got um, your Japanese FM band down here, up to 90. And then your uh, European and American rest of the worldly. FM band here. Isn't that just a beautiful thing? Um, and look at the gearing. It's just fantastic. 
must have cost a fortune. Um, the deviation meter. Look at the screen and on the back of it. And look at the, the, the thickness of the strip holding in the boards into the sockets. And then look how the can the screening can is held on. Not 100 screws like you'd see in a lot of signal generators, but these spring loaded clips. And it's like a Russian doll. Then you've got this inner screening can in here. Look at that. Probably the first man to open that since it came off the production line in Japan 40 odd years ago. There's not something else. You know, that uh, uh, looks about 2 mil thick, the aluminium. So she's well screened. No RF leaking out of there. Incredible, isn't it? Right, some messing around with the transformer layer. We have our re jigger my for 220 240 volt operation i should say so 120 plus 120 is 240 and she's on working away so life is good right so i have a box back up and uh have it on here you can see she's walking away Um, she'd make a great little FM pantry transmitter. It has external modulation on it, so that'll be pretty good. You can set the deviation on it there. So it's, it's quite a snazzy little bit of kit. Right, a bit of external modulation. Of course you have this mini disc player. It's a little bit weak to fully modulate it. Um, a little preamp in between that now and you'll be honking on. So that's the Miguro signal generator. I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully I'll get some more interesting content out soon. Mind ourselves out there and I'll talk to you uh, in the near future. Good luck for now. Bye bye.